All right, we have traded the bass gear in today for some spinning reels, and we are gonna try to catch some redfish. I've been paddling since before dark, but this is my intro, because the camera wouldn't pick it up while it was dark. Um, hope you stick with me. Maybe we'll get something. Having a little bit of camera trouble this morning with my GoPro. That, uh, that thing seems to give me fits as for whenever I external power it. The uh, USB-C cable that I use to external power it always seems to lose connection. So I'm down one camera, but let's keep going. Starting off this morning with the Super Spook Junior. Kind of a little silver mirrored color with a feathered treble hook tail. I'm trying to uh, fish some of these drop-off holes and see if I can't get a speckled trout on top water early and then move on the grass line and get a redfish or two. There's one little speckled trout right there. It's uh, not too big, not quite a keeper. They have to be 15 inches in Alabama, so that one probably would go about 12. There were quite a few boats out in the main part of the bay where I was fishing at, and... Um, you know, there were three or four whenever I paddled up, and I try not to get too close to them. And then two or three more came in on me while I was fishing. So I decided I need to start heading into some of the creeks to go after redfish because the trout action wasn't too great right now. So the wind and the tide are kind of contradicting each other today. It's late September, and the tide's coming out, and the wind's blowing in. So it kind of makes it a chore to fish out of a paddle kayak in the big water. So I'm headed back to a creek to see what I can do. All right, and up here at this point in this creek, the tide coming out and the wind blowing in have made a nice little disturbance eddy up at this point right here. And I caught a couple dink trout whenever I was paddling in. And I turned around, and now I'm trying to fish this point a little more thoroughly and see if there's a redfish or something here. I'm just bouncing a Z-Man Streaks 3.75 in motor oil color, and I just missed one. I'm just letting that Streaks hit the bottom, and I'm just kind of just hopping, just little short hops like you're flounder fish or uh, redfish, anything like that. I'm not swimming in as much like I would for speckled trout. I'm just kind of hopping it off the bottom. Uh, it's difficult to tell on video, but I've had a few fish bump it at this point, and I just hooked up with something. Let's see what it is. It's fighting pretty hard. It is a croaker, a pretty big croaker at that. And, you know, I'm trying to catch fish to eat today. I was hoping to get some redfish. But a lot of people look down on croaker and they won't keep them and eat them. But I tried croaker a few years ago. If you get good size croaker, they're actually pretty good. They're actually better than a redfish in my opinion. So this little fellow's going in the cooler bag. little bit of a speed up here me putting the fish in the cooler bag and I, I'm trying to reposition around this point and I'm gonna use my anchor stick to uh, keep me in position here a little bit better so I'm not having to fight that current so much make a few more casts so I'm just working this point really good trying to catch a redfish I know with this tide coming out and the wind blowing in, this should be a good ambush point, but I just can't seem to hook up. So now I'm going to head back out into the bay, and hope, hopefully some of these boats have gone in, and I can fish a little bit more. There were a lot of boats out here whenever I was paddling through this morning, and I didn't really want to get on top of them while I was fishing, so I just let them have it for the most part. So I'm trying to swim that Streaks 3.75 a little bit more now. Since I know that trout should be in this area, there's some little holes in here that go from like 6 feet to 9 feet. And I found one that was even 10 foot deep. And let's see what I have here. What is this? It's uh, fighting a little bit. It almost seems like a speckled trout. Is it a speckled trout? 
it is another Kroger. Not quite as big as that last one, but we're, uh, we're pretty hungry today, so I think this little fella's going in the icebox too. So uh, don't judge me too hard on that. Hard times, you know. And this wind was blowing about 15 miles an hour or so, so it was a constant fight to try to stay in position in your fishing spot. My anchor stick wasn't quite long enough. Just swimming that motor oil streaks, just seeing what happens. Every now and then I get a little tap, 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 but nothing, nothing with any significance. But sometimes those big fish will tap it too, so you have to, you have to catch them all. Oh, what is that? What is that? That one hit it while it was suspended. A little speckled trout. That one's definitely not 15 inches. Probably about another 12 incher. Ooh, if I don't tighten up, it's going to be hard to uh, hard to eat two little croaker for dinner. That's uh, it's going to be hard times for sure. So I've, I'm only getting small trout out here in this main part of the creek or bay, whatever we want to call it. Um, and it's hard to stay positioned with this wind blowing like this and the tide pulling out. So I need to try to find some greener pastures. By greener pastures, I mean a small creek where I can get in and stay a little bit protected and maybe find some fish. I'm still going after redfish. I have not given up on those. All right, so here's a little creek. I know it's shallow and it's got some grass in it. I can see it as I'm paddling up to it. And this cliff is sped up a little bit. Uh, obviously, I'm not paddling that fast and the water's not moving that fast, but um, I'm seeing a lot of smoke clouds and bait and things skittering. So I know I've got bait in here. It's a good, good sign. Probably the best sign I've seen all day. Alright, so the reason that I'm paddling straight towards the bank here is to have a small bathroom break. We're going to pick it up after I get finished. And that smoke cloud you see on the left there is from a fish. That is not from me. I spooked a flounder while I was going into that little creek. And I've seen like two redfish swim past just since I got back in the kayak. So this water is only inches deep, like maybe three inches at the most. And if you look closely, you can see bottom. It's, uh, it's not deep at all. So I'm trying to be very slow as I proceed through this creek and I'm just taking that flats bug. I'm trying to throw it down the middle of the creek there and see if there's any redfish or flounder, since I know I've seen flounder in here. See if I can hook anything like that with this flats bug. Because everything else I have is too big and would get hung up. I can't remember if I've mentioned it earlier, but the wind was blowing pretty good through here. And uh, it kind of gives that camera that sound. So that's why there's not really much... Um, volume from the actual fishing trip on this and it's just me narrating it but hopefully it's not too disturbing to you if you've made it this far hopefully you'll continue watching um, there, I'm still spooking bait I see a redfish come past me occasionally I'm just working, working forward with that flats bug, and it's the whitish color. It's the smallest size they make. I can't remember if it's a sixteenth or an eighth. It's one of those two. It's the lightest one they make. And if you notice, that's a very short rod. It's only like four foot long. It started out its life as my uh, white perch setup over in freshwater. It's just a Shimano 1000 Stratic series reel, and it's on a Claris ultralight rod. 
and a lot of people look at me goofy whenever I tell them I catch redfish and things on an ultralight rod, but in these tiny creeks like this, it darn sure works. All right, and somewhere up through here, I get a phone call from my cousin. Well, we were fishing together today. He was fishing another little creek, and uh, I, I kind of went a little crazy and paddled farther than him. <clears throat> and somewhere up through here, he calls me, and I, I take the phone call. Yep, actually right here is when he calls me. So I'm going to answer that phone call, then I go right back to fishing. And I can't remember what we were talking about, but it's pulled down. The volume's pulled down because of the wind. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, goodness, what is that? got something. Is that a red? Is that a red fish? He's pulling drag. He's pulling drag. What, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, this might be the best thing we've caught all day. What is it? Here we go. Come on. What is it? Please don't get off. That is a flounder. Pretty good flounder, too. Pretty good flounder. And I caught it while I was on the phone with my cousin. I couldn't believe it. That was the best fish that I caught so far. All right, so I'm a bit absent-minded whenever it comes to showing off fish for the camera. And I'm more worried about getting this fish in the cooler than I am showing it off to you guys, which in hindsight, I should have held that fish up there and you know, I guess posed a little bit for the camera. Maybe gave a flex or something, but I'm more worried about getting that thing in the cooler bag for dinner. <laughs> this water is only, you know, a few inches deep, and normally I wouldn't go too far back in a creek like this unless I seen something that made me go back. And what I'm seeing is, up ahead of me, you see where that water is kind of nervous looking and it's moving. There's schools of minnows, and there are redfish that are kind of corralling those minnows in, along that grass line, and they're just picking a minnow off here and there. So I'm seeing that sign, and I'm seeing redfish pass me, so I know they're here. I've just got to keep going and, until I get one. And that water is so shallow, I can see them easily. And I've, I've spooked several, and I'm a little upset that the camera doesn't catch them. But they're all in here. Just jig. Oh, you see that? Oh, oh, man. Did you see that? You may have to rewind it again. There was a redfish that come straight to my lure, put it in his mouth, and then, oh, you see that fish go away too? That was another redfish. There were two different redfish. There was that one that bit at my flats bug. And then there was that redfish behind him, and I spooked him off. So you may have to rewind that and see again. So after seeing all those fish up shallow and spooking them, I let the water rest for a few minutes, and I've decided that I'm going to turn around, go back towards the mouth of this creek, and try to stand up and sight cast a little bit and push pole around and I know there's fish here because I've spooked them all and they haven't gone anywhere I've still spooked them even as I was paddling out so with sight casting you're standing up trying to get a higher vantage point and see the fish from farther away and hopefully get a good cast on them before they swim off <clears throat> Well, the sad news is I didn't actually see any redfish while I was pulling around out here. So it was kind of a waste of time um, to do this, I guess. But had I been standing whenever I was entering this creek, I may have seen those fish farther away and been able to cast to them before I floated on top of them and they were alerted to my presence. So I could see that how this would be a really good skill to have. So it's something I need to work on. Um, but no more fish were caught in this video. The only thing left um, that I'm doing here is I'm just push-polling out, 
Um, I seen a few crabs scooting along the bottom. <clears throat> so hopefully you enjoyed this video. See that crab there on the left? Actually, there's two crabs on the left. Anywho, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I appreciate you for sticking with it to the end. Um, I know there's been a little bit of a break in my uploads. Maybe I can get back to uploading at least once a week. I, I took a few weeks off to do some other things and uh, get some work done, but hopefully now I'm back at it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.